bold plan, building better opportunities for learning indicator. So when I think of the bold facility plan, I look at our school district strategically making an effort to do better for all kids that we serve. It's really a plan to address so many things in our school district right now, from the middle school experience to uh, making sure that there's air conditioning in every school so that the students have a better opportunity to learn. Districts of our size, around 9,000 students, do not have 22 buildings. When you look around the state, Districts that have 22 buildings have 14 to 16,000 students. To better serve our taxpayers, to better serve our students, we needed to right size our district in that fashion. In 2019, Thomas Jefferson Middle School students will attend school at Stephen Decatur, forming one campus for all our middle school students. Renovations will begin to accommodate the future Montessori program at Thomas Jefferson. William Harris Elementary students will merge with students at Hope Academy in a K-8 building. A new K-12 alternative school program and our special education alternative program will relocate to the William Harris building. Air conditioning will be installed at Enterprise Elementary School and the Pershing Early Learning Center. Now, here's what happens in 2020. Enterprise Elementary School and Garfield Montessori Magnet School will combine and move to the newly renovated Thomas Jefferson Building. The Garfield Building will be vacated. French STEM Academy will move to the Enterprise Elementary School Building. Dennis Elementary School will expand to the French STEM Academy Building, making Dennis a two-facility school. Air conditioning will be installed at South Shores Elementary. More construction will also take place at this building. Durfee Technology Magnet School will be vacated. And finally, here's what will happen in 2021. Johns Hill Elementary students will move to a newly opened Johns Hill building. The old Johns Hill building will be vacated. Baum and Muffley Elementary schools will combine to form one elementary school. Baum students will move to the Muffley campus. The Baum building will be vacated. In addition, air conditioning will be installed at the Muffley building. Franklin and Oak Grove Elementary Schools will combine to form one elementary school. Oak Grove students will move to the Franklin campus. Air conditioning will be installed in the Franklin building. The Oak Grove building will be vacated. Lastly, Stevens and Parsons Elementary Schools will combine to form one elementary school. Stevens and students will move to the Parsons building where air conditioning will also be installed. The administration sat down and had to make some tough decisions, and I think those decisions were on three levels. Uh, the first level is how do we do the best with the resources and the finances that we are afforded from the state and our local tax dollars. The second was our facilities were not up to snuff. And the last piece is how do we provide quality programs to young people who come from a variety of different backgrounds in our community? How do we best put them in positions that when they leave our school system, them, that we have the best young people who we can put out in this community, but more importantly, we can put out into this world. We will be able to better serve the students uh, in the fewer number of buildings. We won't be spreading our social workers over so many buildings, our nurses over so many buildings. We'll be able to consolidate services, we'll be more efficient. The teachers follow the students. In theory, it should consolidate our bus routes as well because we're taking kids to fewer buildings in the end. There's a lot going on with this bold plan and we want to make sure people have that opportunity in an environment that they're comfortable with so that they can really understand what's happening and, and know exactly how that affects them and their children. But our schools want you to be involved. That is a critical piece to our children's success, is that you are engaged and involved with what is going on with this new initiative and how the new programs will help benefit your child. And we need to make sure that we're addressing all the issues that um, children in our community have inside the schools and outside the schools and really give them the best opportunity to grow and succeed. First of all, we appreciate your passion about your buildings and that's what makes our district great is when parents care about where their kids go to school but rest assured we will make your child's new experience at the combined buildings or the new buildings a great one on a daily basis. 
I grew up in Decatur. I am a product of DPS 61. And so I understand how sentimental school closures can be and those types of things when you're talking about a place that you grew up in. But I also understand the meaning behind it and how this affects the best way that we can address student needs. We are at a crossroad. Uh, this community has seen its challenges, uh, and I believe we all understand that there will always be challenges as, as we grow and develop together. But more importantly, I think we finally have said to ourselves, we can be better. We want to do better. The bold plan is just that.